What's up guys, Hype here for another After Effects tutorial. Now before I get started, uh, a lot of you guys have been uh, requesting me doing this, so I'm going to ask you guys what do you want to see, uh, what kind of effects or um, tutorials do you want to see about After Effects. Um, so if you have a specific effect from a montage, you can point out to me, I might be able to see if I can recreate it. Or if there's just something about After Effects itself you want to know more about, that'd be great. So without, you know, after starting about that, let's actually get into the effect itself. So what I'm going to uh, show you guys how to do today is this effect right here at the beginning of my uh, Muggsy contest entry, or the late submission, but it's this one right here. Boom. And it's, it looks pretty simple, but it actually takes a little more effort. So first thing you want to do is take your clip and find out where he shoots. So it's that frame right there. Duplicate it. And then go in here and put CC lens on the top layer. Okay. So now what you, what you want to do is you're going to set the size to zero and keyframe it right on that first frame. And then wherever you want it to start or stop, let's say you want it to stop here, just depends on the speed you want set to 500 and you've got your uh, now you got your your basic boom your lens effect so that looks kind of decent but let's try to make it a little more exciting so I'm going to put this Muggsy still oh. No, no. It's Muggsy CC right there. Boom. That looks kind of cool, I think. On the top layer, so there's no CC at all. And then, boom. We got that good new, new color correction on top of it. I think that looks cool. Anyway, that is not all we're doing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put a twitch effect on there. So, wanna, this is a free preset I downloaded. If you guys want it, I'll link it to you. Uh, just ask me to. So you put it there on the top layer. And it looks, you know, doesn't really do much. But what you have to do is duplicate and then duplicate it again. I'm going well, to close all these effects so you can see everything really quick. Boom. Okay. So the top one, you're going to set the channel to red to red. Set the next one, green to green. And then the final one, blue to blue. And then to keep these in order, I like to color each of the layers just to kind of keep it in order. And blue. Okay. So, what I'm going to do next is because they don't actually start until here, I'm going to move these layers over. There you go. And then when the. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But when, like there, when it ends, I'm going to in that layer. So you notice it looks well awful. What you do is you have to switch all these modes, these to add or screen. I think they both work fine. They don't look anyway. So and that's looking a little better. You have a nice thing like that. But as you can see when it's like this, this these layers are lighter than the bottom layer. Oops. So you can it looks not right. So what you're gonna do is find that first frame right there that frame right there and you see what the circle is what you're going to do is you're going to, going to on the bottom layer mask create a new mask take the mask shape make it 720 by 720 or whatever as long as you two numbers are the same make it an ellipse and hit OK 
Okay, why isn't it being an ellipse? It's being stupid. There we go. So you have your ellipse right here. So, oh, hit M to get your mask open. And you're going to move it over. I'm sure there's a faster way of doing this, but I'm just going to do it with my, uh, whatever, my right arrow key. Anyway. So, I, that looks about centered, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, you're going to shrink it until you get some, let's see, let's try to get it. Let's just, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to solo, that one looks like it's in the middle, I'm going to solo that layer. Oh, of course, but I can't. I'm going to turn these layers off so that the as you can see it's not perfect but it doesn't have to be perfect really as long as it's good enough so I'm going to say right there okay so we're going to keyframe it and then Right there, you're going to expand the mask so that it takes up just the entire see entire screen. And then you're gonna change this to subtract. Boom. What that does Oh my god, is the mask. Why is it? Okay, this is dumb. Okay. It's so whatever, 640. 640. I know what I did wrong. I was on the mask when I did this. Anyway, wow, this is unfortunate. See, I'm doing this on my first try. I'm just doing it how uh, I would do it normally if I was making this effect, so I'm assuming that's right. Yeah, that's about right. Anyway, boom. And then, of course, you don't want just the twitch to linger on like that. So what I like to do is on the twitch. Here we go. Where is it? On the amount. I'll keyframe it at 20. And then let's say around here. I'll keyframe it at zero. So at 12:53, it's at zero. Just remember that. Hopefully, I remember it. Keyframe it at zero. On the first frame, keyframe it at 20, not 200. That would be unfortunate. Actually, I think I. Yeah. And then here, not keyframe it at 20. What was it? 12. Oh, God, I forgot. 12 something, 1243, I think is what it was. Okay. Right there. Keyframe it at zero. And then there you go. Let's watch it. I will mute the sound because it's incredibly loud to these speakers. Okay. Let's see what we have. Let's see if it works. Okay. For the most part, yes, we do have that. Um, really bad, obviously the mask isn't right at the beginning. So right here we have it at that big. This, the, what you have to do is the pixel before it, or not the pixel, wow, the frame before it, make it zero, or pretty much zero. And let's watch it again. That's what I mean by it's loud. Sorry about that, guys. I forgot to mute it. But there you go. Maybe you want to slow down the the CC lens again, and, and really, we, all you would do is have to adjust the twitch slightly. And but that's that's it for today, guys.
Again, if you have any more suggestions on what you want to learn how to do, any cool effects or anything from montages, mine, or other people's, just uh, post in the comments below, and I'll see if I can do them. Some of them I won't be able to do, especially MK. MK, your effects are ridiculous. But anyway, and of course the final thing you have to do so your volume isn't as loud is you have to turn the volume off of two of the three uh, twitch layers because other if you don't you'll have three times the sound coming out so that's just, that's really it um that's it peace guys